Hi, 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 everyone. I'm Blockchain Bernie. I'm going to decode the Zandium DevNet for you. You might be wondering, why do they have a DevNet in the first place? What is it for? Why did Zandium incentivize that DevNet? How long is the DevNet going to run? What's coming, coming after the DevNet? What are the next steps? All of this I will dive in in this little video, so make sure to watch it all through the end. And if you like content like this, please do not hesitate to give me that like button. It really helps us out a lot. And leave me a comment also. So the Zandium DevNet. Zandium is developing a novel blockchain. They are using the Solana code base. And on top of the Solana code base, they are building a scalable storage layer. So the scalable code execution, transaction execution that we have on Solana, we will add a scalable storage layer to that so that we can build real apps that need storage and need decentralized storage and scalable storage so that we can build these apps. And uh, again, that's Zandium, so we are building that scalable storage layer. And when I say we, hey, full disclosure, I'm the founder and CEO of uh, um, of of Zandium. And um, why are we doing that DevNet? While we are building our solution and we're building out that blockchain with the scalable storage layer, we need to constantly iterate and test it out on, on some real blockchain cluster, right? Otherwise, we would just be developing our stuff and cannot really test it in real life environment or we could only test it on one machine. So we have that DevNet up and running. We're super, super thankful for, you know, um, having so many guys out there. We have like 60 servers now on the Zandium DevNet, which is just awesome. It's more servers on the DevNet than, than Solana has at this point in time. And with that, every time we're adding functionality to our code base, right, and adding, you know, step by step, the, the scalable storage layer, the more we can test it out on our DevNet each and every day. And basically, we do that until we have kind of a degree of functionality where we have like a minimum viable product or at least a prototype. And then we can put that into our test net and then into our main net. Right now, we're in that development phase. We're in super, super early development. And also, we're frankly in the software design phase now for our storage nodes. So early next year, you know, my guess is it might be around February-ish <laughs> where we have a prototype of the storage nodes and how they interact with the validator nodes that we already have on our DevNet. So there might be might be a big launch event out there in February where you know we have those storage nodes and and they can actually work in our devnet so it will be not only a devnet of validator nodes it will be a broader devnet that has a few hundred um storage provider nodes already right so that's coming up and then you know why did we incentivize the DevNet? Well, obviously, we understand it's, you know, it, it takes time and, and expenses to run a physical validator node, right? And so many people are doing this right now, and we're incentivizing that by giving them Zand tokens for doing that. And we have so many guys out there that are super, super enthusiastic at this early stage in the game. So everyone who's running a validator or everyone who even bought a validator license, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone, right? And um, I cannot thank you guys um, enough for that. And, uh, you know, with that launch event in February, we won't have a viable product, not even a minimum viable product. It's going to be a prototype that's working. And then starting from February, we are adding more functionality. And at some point, we have kind of a minimum viable product that we could launch as kind of a mainnet alpha. And before we do that, we will have like two months of testnet um, um, so that we can test all this. So it is kind of tough to bring all that onto a timeline right now 
because uh, simply, you know, we we it's the very first prototype that we're developing. It is impossible to say, oh, it takes this and that long. There is, you know, research to be done on every step of of, of the road. Um, but we feel that, you know, around February 2024, we might be able to launch the uh, the storage provider network connected to our DevNet. So we'll have an extended DevNet that also has storage provider nodes. That will be a big, big, big step, right? And then after that, we're going to build the rest and hopefully have a prototype of the whole thing, you know, with, you know, validators and and storage providers all over the world and really doing what it should do and have some docs out there or so. Maybe we have that by fall next year, something like that, right? So that's kind of the rough, rough time plan. And again, it is super, super tough to bring all that on a timeline, but that's what we're thinking right now. So we are super excited. And, and you know, the, the subject of this video again is like, why do we need that DevNet? Well, until we have the product ready, right? And until we can do a mainnet alpha launch or anything like that, we're basically in the realm of, you know, developing the product and, um, and adding step by step. And we need a DevNet for that. We do the, even the early steps of development, we will be doing these on on a on a real cluster with like 60 nodes and hundreds of storage provider nodes and you know we will we will work on our real blockchain that is about to become a thing we will work on that on on a real devnet step by step and that's super exciting and again thanks everyone for um for helping us uh, doing that and um yeah i i i, I cannot say enough we will need that devnet probably longer for those six months. So the incentives have now been set for six months. But, you know, even when mainnet is out, we still need a devnet. We probably won't need a devnet with that many nodes at that point in time. So some of them might transition into testnet and then hopefully into, into mainnet later on. Uh, but for now, you know, devnet is our instrument <laughs> to test every little piece of software, every little piece of improvement that we build into the code um, on a real cluster. And right now it takes a little bit of time because we're, you know, as you know, software is always like you think about the architecture, then you think about the design, and then you build a few things, right? So it might still take, you know, much of November, maybe, maybe much of you know, part of December, where we're mostly busy with, with the architecture and the design and, you know, finding the places in the existing Solana validator code where we need to make changes. And, uh, and then, you know, at some point in December, we should, we should transition into some more productive mode where we have new versions of our validator code each and every week or so and ask all you validators that, that are running nodes in our DevNet um, to upgrade to a new version and build this exciting new thing uh, together step by step. So again, uh, super thankful for everyone that's out there and uh, and helping us build that stuff. I you know we have the best community in the world. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love your engagement on Discord. I love your your engagement on on this YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget to leave me your comments um, also on this one. And uh, yeah, together we're moving ahead. And don't forget, if you're not part of the whole journey yet, go to zandium.com. Link is in the description. Also here, zandium.com. Um, if you're new to it, join our Discord on the top right corner of our website. There's a little Discord icon, so you can join there and chat with us live uh, while we build this baby. And um, also, if you have some soul that you want to stake, we are running a high-performance Solana validator. It's one of the highest performing out there. So if you own any SOL tokens, you would be stupid to not stake it. And the best way to stake it is stake it directly to a validator that you trust rather than having some mediaries and, and, and some middlemen in there that take their cut. 
So the best way is to do it, to stake it on our Zandium validator. The link is down in the description. It's zandstake.com. So it's very, very easy. And we claim it's the simplest and easiest interface that's out there anywhere um, <clears throat> on where, how you can stake your soul to our validator. <clears throat> for now, though, thanks for watching and catch you guys later. Peace.